How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and in this video I'm going to show you how to install QBasic on Windows 7 or Windows 8. This also works on 8.1 for those who are wondering. Now the old QBasic IDE worked on Windows XP and I believe it also worked on Windows Vista but that classic IDE no longer works on Windows 7 or Windows 8 8.1 but there's a new program out called QB64 that works on the 64-bit architecture. So if I open up this QB64 folder on my desktop, in here you'll see a program called QB64.exe, and when I run that, it looks the exact same as QBasic, and for those who are wondering, yes, same programming, language, same commands, all that stuff. So it's the exact same as QBasic, just called QB64, and it's been engineered to work on the 64-bit architecture of the new uh, operating systems. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this. Open up a web browser of your choice. I'm going to choose Firefox. And I'm going to go to QB64.net. So here's the page that we want. Now you can download QCloud, but I'm guessing you just want the classic QB64 IDE. So this one here, um, like I said, works on 7 and 8, but also works on XP and Vista. So, download right here, where it says download the .7z, and save file, OK. It's going to save to my downloads folder. Now, the other thing we're going to need here is 7-zip, so Google 7-zip, and download 7-zip. Download it based on your uh, operating system. Uh, download the appropriate download file um, and install the program. That's an easy walkthrough. You download it, go through the installation process. I don't need to walk through that with you. Now, one thing I forgot to mention here, I clicked on the Windows tab, but it also works for Linux, Mac OS X, and then also for Android. So just choose your operating system and download it. Now it is downloaded. I'm going to show it in folder. And right here, when I right click on it, if you have 7-zip installed correctly, in your menu that pops up when you uh, right click, hover above the 7-zip option and click on extract here. And it's going to extract it into a folder, the QB64 program. I should be more specific as being extracted. Now in here when you open it up, a um, bunch of files that you don't need to alter. The only thing we really care about here is this QB64.exe. So, I'd copy this folder and place it right on your desktop, just like I did. Now, if you're looking in here and you're wondering why I have all these extra files, these are the programs I made for my QBasic tutorial series. So now that you guys have this um, installed, if you want to learn about programming in QBasic or you know freshen up your skills, go to YouTube.com slash coding basics and if you go under playlists I have a whole tutorial series in here about different stuff we can do with QBasic so thank you guys for watching leave a comment on this video like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time